another brand new video I hope you're all doing okay so for today's video I am back with another haul this time and it is a home bargains haul so we popped that earlier I just wanted to see what like new bits they had going on in there and let me tell you I am so impressed like they have so much nice new bits in I'm super super excited to show you what I picked up um, I spent over like £50 just over, it was like by a couple of pence, so I spent about £50 altogether and I'm just really excited to show you what I picked up and some amazing bits for a very good price as well. So I hope you really enjoy this haul and let's get straight into it. So I just want to say first of all, excuse my voice and if I sound out of breath, I currently have a cold, I've been suffering the last few days, um, I caught it off my niece because we look after her and she has already had covid so she hasn't got covid she just has a cold and that's where i've called it from so if i sound a bit bunged up that's why because i have a cold going on two bags full of stuff like that's how much stuff i picked up so the first thing which my mum actually got um for my sister's new baby when she arrives in may so we picked up these three pack of bibs and they were two pounds which is really good for three bibs and you just have a love heart one a plain pink one and then a pink and white stripe one and my sister needed um more bibs so my mum picked her up these and i just think they're really cute and i'm just so excited to meet her like i've been buying her stuff for the baby and i'm just really excited to see what she looks like and i just love my nieces so so much so yeah i just thought that'd be really cute and handy for my sister we went down the easter section and they had like literally a whole aisle full of easter stuff and we picked up these eight led egg lights so we thought these would be really cute to pop on the table at easter time just to decorate the kitchen a little bit more um they do require two times double a batteries they are glittery and just different colored little eggs and i just think they're really really cute so yeah i'm excited to decorate the kitchen with those we also picked up this cute little rabbit wreath i just think it's really cute we're gonna hang this above the door i think um in our kitchen so it just has a wooden bunny with an easter egg and some flowers and grass and then i don't know what this stuff's called i can't think i'm not sure but then it just has like a little flower attached to it and then this really cute ribbon falling down i just think it's really really cute so you hang it and then it all just dangles and then it has like little flower bits here i just think that was really really sweet and i know my two nieces will love that i think that's really cute obviously they can't come to the house but we'll show them on facetime and they love that so yeah, really happy with that. That was really cute. Also down at the Easter aisle, I picked up this really cute rabbit. Now they had white or yellow and I picked up the white one. And I just thought she was really, really cute. And she is so soft. Like, I'm not joking, she's so soft. So I thought she'd look cute in my bedroom down by my mirror with my lantern. Um, I just wanted to give my bedroom a little something at Easter time. So I just thought I'd pick her up. My mum also picked herself up one up as well to put on the table. So I might bring her down and put her next to the other one. Um, but yeah, she's just really, really cute. And I like the little pink mouth she's got going on there. And then finishing off with the Easter bits, we just picked up some Cadbury mini eggs nest cakes. I literally love these. I used to eat these all the time when I was at primary school near easter time and me and karen's already had one you get four in a pack they're really really good and very delicious so if you haven't tried these then i would recommend these moving on to some more chocolate bits callum just picked up which of course he always does pick up a chocolate bar and this is the milka choco and biscuit one i think this is a new flavor they've brought out so obviously it just has biscuit and chocolate inside i'm pretty sure it's white chocolate and milk chocolate in there as well with the biscuit but this is literally a huge bar and they're a pound in home bargains so yeah probably worth it because look at the size of that it is huge and i just picked up some terry's chocolate orange mini eggs i've never actually tried these i'm guessing they're literally just like a terry's chocolate orange but with a crispy shell so yeah they were like something odd pence or a pound maybe i'm not sure but yeah, I've never tried these, so I wanted to give those a go. Mum picked up these, which are really, really handy. I don't know if anyone's seen these before, but they're reusable silicon stretchable lids. So basically, if you have food left over that you can then freeze and you don't have a matching lid for your pot or anything or you've lost it, then you basically pull it in a pot and these are stretchable so you can put them around um, round pots, 
uh, rectangular pots, anything like that, they will stretch to the size. So you have a 6 centimeter, 9 centimeter, 11 centimeter, 14, 16, and 20 centimeter as well. So you have all different sizes in here to fit all your different pots. So yeah, you get six in there, which is so, so good. And it's really ideal for covering for food and liquid, suitable for cups, jars, bowls, dishes, fruit, vegetables, and more. So they're really handy if you want to grab yourself some of those. So Callum just picked up himself some shaving gel. This is the Gillette Match 3, and this is the sensitive one. Just your standard shaving gel for when you shave. And I picked up because I've noticed I brush my teeth obviously every day I'm not gross and I use mouthwash but I've noticed like my teeth aren't as white as I want them to be and I don't really want to pay for the teeth whitening stuff because they don't always work either if I'm being honest like they work for a little bit and then they don't last very long so I thought I'd try this oral B 3d white Lux whiter teeth in seven days perfection mouthwash so I picked up this because I always use the other cheap versions and I just don't think they do much good. So I thought I'd give this a go and hopefully it will whiten my teeth a lot more as well. I didn't even know Orby made a toothpaste. I didn't even know Orby did a toothpaste. Okay, and then I went down like the candle section and things like that and I wanted a new reed diffuser. I actually have one that Callum's mum got me from Next and it's lasted so, so long and it smells amazing still. But I wanted one for over on my makeup desk and the one that Callum's mum got me is up on my shelf so I thought I needed another one so I picked up this Wicked and Co one and it is sugar dusted cherry now I actually smelt the candle in there in this scent and it smelt amazing so I thought I'm just gonna get it in the reed diffuser take that chance but it's actually in a really cute little bottle so it has like the little label of cherries and stuff and I love the scent of like cherry anyway so yeah they were a pound each as well, so that was really good. I saw these also down the candle aisle, and I was buzzing about this. So I actually did want to pick up some of these bottles for my shampoo and conditioner, but they actually didn't have any in the store, um, unless I just wasn't looking very carefully. But I got these storage organising labels, and they're in rose gold, and that is like my theme in my like makeup drawers and stuff. So it has labels that says hair, nails, skin care. And then they have them in the bigger version as well. So you can choose which versions you want. So you can have smaller labels or the big labels. And I just thought that would be really handy to go on all my storage boxes in my makeup drawers. I know where everything is, but I just think it would be a bit more handier to organise my stuff. And I just love little storage labels. I also just picked up myself some juice burst apple because i was thirsty i don't know why i haven't drunk it yet and then the next thing i picked up was these metal straws and these are really cool actually they're like rainbow colored ones it also comes with a straw cleaner as well to clean inside of the straws once you have finished with them so um it says only use with cold drinks which i only bought these for like my iced coffees and if i do want like a can of something that fizzy then i'll just use these but yeah so it's um the pack contains four times straight stainless steel straws one times brush cleaner and they are reusable drinking straws because you know we're all about saving the turtles for my iced coffees because you know i love my iced coffees at the moment i picked up this little i think they're called kilner kilner jars and it has a rose gold top it did come with a straw but i just thought that would be really handy for my iced coffees and it's just really cute. It's got a little handle. It will look nice with my iced coffee in because it's see-through. And I think they did a silver lid, a rose gold lid, and a pink lid as well. So you can choose which colour lid you wanted. And then it comes with like a plain straw or a pink and white stripey one. I bought this especially for my iced coffee. So I'm going to need to get rid of some more cups because my mum will actually go mental at me that I bought another cup because i don't even think she knows i picked this up <laughs> that is that one bag and then in the other bag which i was really impressed with home bargains with their loungewear stuff like they never used to do loungewear stuff so i think this is new in the store so i picked up this gorgeous oatmeal loungewear set and i did get it in a size 12 to 14 they did have a 10 to 12 but i was just a bit unsure and plus i like my loungewear to be nice and open oversized anyway so it's a two-piece set so you just have this beautiful oatmeal color like how stunning is this color i'm so into this at the moment so you just have a long sleeve top and then it's like really flowy so you don't have like no cuffed arms or anything it's just a nice simple plain oatmeal top 
and then the bottoms are like little flares so at the top you just have the waistband here that's quite stretchy and then a pocket as well which is really handy and they just flow out like they're not cuffed at the bottom i just think these are stunning and i don't actually own a loungewear set that has flary trousers i have more like cuff trousers um so i was really really impressed with this and it is the make jeff and co so i'm guessing that's their clothing brand they're selling yeah, Jeff Banks, Jeff & Co. And that was £14 for that loungewear set. Like, amazing. They had all different types. They had ribbed loungewear sets, different coloured ones. Some were a bit more pricey than others. I think the highest price was 16 or £20. But yeah, I paid for the £14 one because I literally love this colour so much. And I cannot wait to wear this after this video because I'm going to get changed right back into this. And the last thing I picked up, which I was super happy that I found it and they had it in the store that I went to so everyone is obviously going on about the ring lights that home bargains have been selling so they have the massive ring light for 20 pounds and it was the 13 inch ring one and honestly I was so shocked because the one I use I know it's probably a bit more high quality than what the home bargains one is but I paid 60 pounds for mine and I'm just like so gutted that I just should have waited a bit longer but it doesn't matter but I saw this, so this is a tabletop one, and I just thought this would be so much more handier when I'm doing my makeup, like when I'm doing makeup videos for you guys, I just think it would be so much easier instead of keep getting my ring light out, putting it behind my desk, so yeah, I just think this would be so much easier, it's a social media ring light, and it's a 10 inch, I think it's 10 inch, or just like 10 LED desktop light with phone holder, and it has three colour changing modes, so I can even take selfies with this, I just think it is so, so good, and I'm buzzing about this, so it has a cord control for the on and off colour mode and brightness, it also has a USB power, and three mode ring light, it is a pan and tilt adjuster, you can move the phone neck around so you can bring it like right low or something like that i just think this i just thought it was so handy and 8.99 8.99 for this so so good so i was really happy that i picked this up and they literally had loads like they kept putting all the big ones out because they were selling so so quickly um there's a lot more people out there now wanting to use these for their photos for social media and yeah i was really happy about this and 8.99 you can't go wrong and so now i've got a smaller version and a bigger version as well that wasn't the last thing i showed you that ring light um this is the last thing i picked up so i've been after a new throw for so long a nice fluffy one gray or pink i didn't really mind and i saw this one for 9.99 and it is huge and so soft and cuddly but i know my cats are gonna literally love this and sleep on it all the time which isn't great but you know so it's a snuggle up teddy fro and look at the size of it it is literally huge. I cannot wait to put this on my clean bed in. I'm going to change my bed in soon and put this on. But yeah, it's so soft. I wish you could like feel how soft it was through the screen. But you can probably tell just from looking at it how soft it is. But I just thought, how amazing is that for 9 99 Like, I love my throws as it is. So I was really happy with that. So it's a 200 centimeter by 200 centimeter. That's the last thing I picked up from Home Bargains. Okay, so that is the end of this Home Bargains haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. I literally love everything that I picked up from there. They have some really amazing new bits in. I wish I could have picked up more, but I knew, you know, I'd go all out and probably end up spending way more than what I wanted to. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and also subscribe down below. And I will see you next time in my next video. Bye, guys!